beautiful verses from the Quran, they have another beautiful lesson that we can take and we can implement in our lives and hopefully it will give us more light that we can live by until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It talks about the story of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, not his full story, but it talks about, about one aspect in his life which is what gave him this high position among all the prophets and what made him a special prophet to the extent that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him as his closest friend. As Allah says in the Quran that وَاتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ خَلِيلَ And Allah took Ibrahim as a khalil, as the closest friend, as one of the closest servants to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What gave him this high position? It is something that we can benefit from, something we can implement in our everyday life. Those verses are there in Surah Al-Baqarah, right at the end of the first of the first juz of the Quran. They are very beautiful verses and they have many lessons that we can learn from and hopefully we can benefit from that. We will start with the recitation as usual and then inshallah we will take those reflections and we will take a short journey through those beautiful verses. <coughs> وإذ ابتلى إبراهيم ربه بكلمات فأتمهن قال إني جاعلك للناس إماما قال ومن ذريتي قال لا ينال عهد الظالمين وَإِذْ جَعَلْنَا الْبَيْتَ مَثَابَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَأَمْنًا وَاتَّخِذُوا مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى وَعَهِدْنَا إِلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ أَنْ طَهِّرَا بَيْتِي أَنْ طَهِّرَا بَيْتِي لِلطَّائِفِينَ وَالْعَاكِفِينَ وَالرُّكَّعِ السُّجُودَ وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ جَعَلْ هَذَا بَلَدًا آمِنًا وَارْزُقْ أَهْلَهُ مِنَ الثَّمَرَاتِ مَنْ آمَنَ مِنْهُمْ من آمن منهم بالله واليوم الآخر قال ومن كفر فأمتعه قليلا ثم أضطره إلى عذاب النار وبئس المصير وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْقَوَاعِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَاعِيلُ رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ رَبَّنَا وَاجْعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكَ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِنَا أُمَّةً مُسْلِمَةً لَكَ وَأَرِنَا مَنَاسِكَنَا وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ ربنا وبعث فيهم رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياتك ويعلمهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة ويزكيهم إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم ومن يرغب عن ملة إبراهيم إلا من سفه نفسه وَلَقَدْ اصْطَفَيْنَاهُ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَإِنَّهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ لَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ قَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Welcome back to In the Light of the Qur'an. Those wonderful verses from Surah Al-Baqarah talk about the great Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Prophet Ibrahim was tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He went through a trial 
Allah gave him some, ob some obligations and some prohibitions to see how obedient he would be. And he passed the test. He proved to be an obedient servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He proved submission to the creator of the heavens and the earth. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him that I will give you the position of imama, the position of leadership in matters of the religion and in matters of the world. So there is a beautiful lesson that we can take from those verses that leadership, will, true leadership and beneficial leadership will be given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the servant when, when we are obedient to Allah. So when a person is obedient to Allah and is submissive and he holds on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this person will be given leadership in matters of the religion and in matters of this dunya. People will respect him. People will look up to him. People will see him as a role model. So Allah will give him this high position in this world and in the hereafter. This is why Allah gave Prophet Ibrahim this high position because he proved to be obedient and submissive to Allah. So this is a beautiful lesson that we can take and we can learn from. So if we want to guide the people, if we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us a role model for others, let's be obedient and submissive to Allah. And as much obedient and as much submissive we are to Allah, Allah will give us of this leadership and of this gift and bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah talks about the, his house in Mecca, the sacred house in Mecca that he commanded Ibrahim السلام, and his son Ismail to purify it and prepare it and make it ready for the pilgrims to the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is another act of leadership that those are, they, they are the role model for the people. The people will follow their example in making pilgrimage to the sacred house. So this is a high position Allah gave Prophet Ibrahim السلام, and his son Prophet Ismail السلام. then another privilege Allah has given Ibrahim is Allah made his supplication granted and answered so when he made a supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah would grant him his what he asked for this is why when he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the, the Mecca to make the city of Mecca a peaceful house, a place of peace and security for the people and to provide it and to bring provision for, to, to it from all corners of the globe, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him that. And Allah promised that everyone who believes in Allah and the last day, Allah will give him more. And Allah will grant him this security and Allah will grant him this provision and Allah will give him a life of happiness and tranquility in this world and a life of dignity and honor in the hereafter. But as for those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who transgress the limits of Allah, then those people Allah, will, Allah says that I will give them some kind of tranquility, some kind of pleasure in this life, but in the hereafter those will be in the hellfire and what an evil destination. Then Allah gave more privilege, gave more privilege to Ibrahim and Ismail by commanding them to build the house, build the sacred house. And until today we say, this is the house that Ibrahim built السلام, and Ismail. Such a wonderful privilege. So they built this house and everyone who prays in that house, in the sacred house in Mecca, everyone who makes pilgrimage, reward, the sim a similar reward like his reward will go to Ibrahim alayhi salam and will go to Ismail because they built this house because they became role models. So the more submissive we are to Allah, the more obedient we are to Allah, Allah will make us more as role models and when we become role models, everyone who follows our example, Allah will give us similar reward to the reward that such people will get. So it's such a high position. So if we want this leadership in, in the matters of Islam, then let's be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the secrets of obedience to Allah is submission. This beautiful feeling in the heart and this readiness to, be, to submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all affairs is what gives us this high position in Islam. This is why Ibrahim and Ismail alayhim salam made the supplication, Oh Allah, make us and from our progeny, from our descendants, make us submissive to you ummatan muslima make make us a submissive nation that we submit to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter what the case is and what the commands are we just fulfill them as we are commanded this is the key to success in this world and in the hereafter and this is the and the way to make people submissive is to show them the guidance so this is why they made the supplication of allah send among them from among themselves a prophet 
who will teach them your signs and your verses and will show them the guidance. And then at the end of those verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals the secret for all the success that he granted Ibrahim alayhi salam. The secret is submission. This is why Allah says, before he mentions the secret, he says, وَمَن يَرْغَبُ عَن مِلَّةِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِلَّا مَنْ سَفِيهَا نَفْسَهَ Anyone who chooses other than the way of Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, then this person has humiliated himself. Because that's the only way that leads to paradise. That's the only true and straight path. It's the way of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Anyone who chooses other than that, then he has ridiculed himself. He has humiliated himself. He has chosen the worst end for himself. So, وَمَنْ يَرْغَبُ عَمْ مِلَّةِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِلَّا مَنْ سَفِيهَا نَفْسَهِ وَلَقَدْ اصْطَفَيْنَاهُ فِي الدُّنْيَا We have chosen him. We have favoured him. We have favoured Ibrahim over all others. So why do you choose a way other than his? The best way is his. So why do you choose other ways which are low, which are decadent, which are the ways of disobedience? Why do you choose those? When we have made the ways, we have made all the paths clear for you. So choose the, be choose the best way, which is the way of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Then Allah reveals the secret by saying, إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ قَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Allah said to him, Submit! Aslim, submit! Straight away he said, أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ I submit to the Lord of all the worlds, to the Lord, to the Lord of the universe. That's the secret to all success in this world and the hereafter. Submit! Allah said to him, straight away submit. Just consider the verse. Allah said to him, submit. Straight away he said, I submit to the Lord of the universe. قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ قَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ No doubt, no questions, no objections, no more inquiries. Straight away, submission to Allah. Total submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the way to success. Because we're not dealing with a human being, we're dealing with the creator of the universe. So we put our full trust in him without any doubt, without any questioning. Just let's be like Ibrahim. That's the way of Ibrahim. If we choose other than it, other than this way, then we will be in the hellfire. Allah said to him, submit. He said, I submit. I have submitted. Straight away, no question. And this is what Allah talks about. When Allah describes the believers in Surah An-Nur. Allah says, إِنَّمَا كَانَ قَوْلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذَا دُعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ لِيَحْكُمُ بَيْنَهُمْ أَنْ يَقُولُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Indeed, the response of the believers, if they are commanded to resort to the judgment of Allah and His Messenger, they say, we hear and we obey straight away. No question, there is no doubt and there is no objection. Once we say this is the command of Allah, we submit to Allah. We don't question that. By doing that, we will become leaders for humanity and Allah will raise us, will give us a higher position in this world and in the hereafter. So if we want success, Let's take the example of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Such a wonderful and important, uh, an important way that will lead us inshallah to paradise and will, will lead us to success in this world. Hopefully those verses have been beneficial so we can learn from them, implement them and benefit from them in all aspects in our lives. So this should be the way and the, this should be the conduct that we follow in our life in all affairs. Submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all cases. Until we meet, insha'Allah, next time to talk about another light that we can take from the Qur'an, I leave you in peace. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. TV.